Brooklyn and the city. The band Fear was formed in 1977 in Los Angeles by vocalist guitarist Lee Ving and bassist Durf Scratch. The band is credited for helping shape the sound and style of California hardcore punk, with aggressive but also humorous songs about a variety of topics, but mostly beer. Film director Penelope Spheris, now known mostly for comedies like Wayne's World and Black Sheep, met Ving and drummer Spit Sticks while they were hanging flyers around L.A. promoting their next show. After a brief discussion, Spheris asked if they wanted to be involved in a documentary she was making about the Los Angeles punk scene. That documentary was 1981's The Decline of Western Civilization. The film was the first to cover the emerging punk scene in Los Angeles and featured performances and interviews with some of the most well-known and influential bands in the scene, like The Germs, Black Flag, X, The Circle Jerks, and of course Fear. If you've seen the film, you know they spent most of their performance antagonizing the audience. You're a pussy! How do you yeah, know? next time don't bite so hard when I come, okay? Spheris's documentary and a live performance on the show New Wave Theater brought the band to the attention of comedian John Belushi. Belushi and SNL writer Michael O'Donohue had become fans of the band, and Belushi wanted to include them in his next project, the 1981 comedy Neighbors, starring Belushi and fellow SNL alum Dan Aykroyd. Belushi tracked down Ving, and the two became fast friends. Fear recorded a song for the film with Ving and Belushi sharing vocal duties, but the producers of the film rejected it. Long considered the lost Fear song, it wasn't officially released until 2015. Belushi felt like he had wasted the band's time, so to make it up to them, he promised he would use his connections to get them a spot on national television. Belushi, again with Saturday Night Live writer Michael O'Donoghue, sold the idea to producer Dick Ebersol, who had temporarily replaced Lorne Michaels, with the promise that Belushi would make a return guest appearance on the then-struggling show. Fear ripped through three songs in a row as the crowd, which included Belushi, Minor Threats' Ian Mackay, Tesco V of The Meat Men, members of the Cro-Mags, Johnny Brandon of Negative Approach, and Fear fans slam-danced and caused general mayhem. The band ended the set with the song Let's Have a War, but the show cut to commercial just as it was getting started. Here's a clip of some of that performance. A link to the full performance is posted below. The show that night was hosted by actor Donald Pleasance. Reports vary about the amount of damage caused by the band and their fans. According to an article in the New York Post titled Fear Riot Leaves Saturday Night Glad to Be Alive, the band and its fans caused an estimated $200,000 worth of damage. The article stated that the entire green room, a camera, and other property had been left in ruins. Network president Brandon Tartikoff was watching it live and banned Fear from ever appearing on NBC or SNL again. The episode has never aired in syndication. And Brandon Tarkatov's watching the show, rest in peace, in bed with his wife, as he does every Saturday night, grabs the hotline and says, Cut, cut, tell him to cut, 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 go to stock yeah. footage, hurry up, cut, not cut, they'll never be shown on Saturday Night Live again. Yeah. <laughs> Fear still plays shows to this day with founding member Lee Ving. Their last full-length release was a re-recording of their classic 1982 album, The Record, in 2012. John Belushi would die of a drug overdose just four months after bringing Fear to Saturday Night Live.